Hello, welcome to Naptime Gaming. We cleared most of the forest temple last time, and this time we're gonna go ahead and clear the rest of it. Still have most of my arts, I guess all of them. So, um, let's see. Oh, I need to check and see if there's any fairies in here. So, I, as I said before, oh, there's not any fairies, awesome. As I said before, I do not like going through and finding things in games, but I'm doing it because, well, one, I do want the buffs that come with it, but I also, I think that a lot of people are gonna, I don't know, you'd rather watch me do that than just, like, completely fail at collecting every single thing in the game. I think that almost kind of goes to show you're not that good at video games. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So, a lot of the. Uh, I remember these dragonflies giving me a lot of heartache last time I played this game. They seemed like they were a lot harder last time. I think that. I just wasn't as good at playing Zelda back then, and so just, I don't know, the fact that they were flying and it was kind of hard to time it made it very difficult for me, and you're kind of helpless in the air. But I don't know, I don't seem to have any trouble with them this time. Alrighty. Let's go in here. Yeah, there's some fairies in here. So, I think we're getting ready to get the... Do we have the boss key? We don't have the boss key yet. Yeah, I think we're getting ready to get the boss key. Which means we're getting ready for a big fight. The title's going to go ahead and tell me something I already know. Something that you see... Uh, oh, I guess I don't have the item for here yet either. So I lost a little bit of where I was at on this. I lost a little bit of the ideas of what, of exactly what I was doing. There we go. Okay, here I am. Fighting a monster. Let's go ahead and equip my strongest weapon and kick this guy's butt. So see now Deku nuts just make everything way easier. And knowing that you're up in your A attack where you jump is your strongest attack makes it to where it's just not even fair fighting people like that. Well, let's see. Let's put on my mask to see if there's any fairies in here. Nope. -na 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 -na. So this should be either the boss key or the dungeon item. I'm guessing dungeon item, the hero's bow. Now it's awesome because when you were a kid in Ocarina of Time you could not use a bow. But now apparently you're old enough to use a bow. So now we we get to shoot all the things that we want. We get to shoot things like eyes. We get to shoot things like fire. It just makes everything so much easier. My aim isn't great in this game due to the fact that I'm playing on the computer, which is what I'm going to tell myself. Because it keeps the enemy in the same place. It's not like an analog stick. See, it's just shooting the same place over and over. There we go. I guess shooting underneath it's better. So, yeah, so we get it. The general rule for Zelda games is you get the dungeon item, the dungeon item unlocks the rest of the dungeon for you, and then you can get to the, the boss master from because of it. 
Um, sometimes you do have to use like all of your items in a place, but generally your dungeon item is the one that you're going to be using the most uh, in a dungeon after you after you get them. All right, yeah. let's go ahead and shoot that. All right, seven of the stray fairies. I don't think I need Deku sticks on there. All right, that's all of them from this room. Oh, sweet, another battle. And usually, if you're gonna fight somebody, you're gonna use the item as well. And since it wants me to be a deck of scrub real bad, I'll go ahead and do that. Dun 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 dun. Now it's really hard to hit somebody until they stop moving. I'm gonna kick this dude's butt. This turtle doesn't know who he's messing with. Ah. Come and get me, bro. I kind of want to get him with the last one just aiming. I think I'm going to go ahead and try that. Since he hasn't even hit me yet. Alright, come on. All right, I got this. Oh, I had that. <laughs> Man, a lot of good shots out here. I'm gonna get him. You don't even know. He hasn't even hit me yet. Like, it's just not fair unless I give myself some sort of a disadvantage. Come on. Alright, I got him. It's just not fair. It's too easy with the bow. Bows make things so easy in this game. A lot of the a lot of the items are a little overpowered. I don't I don't have much troubles fighting monsters usually. Do I got myself a no fairies in here? Some coinage. And oh yeah, the boss keys in this one always look yellow like that, so I should have known the last one wasn't the boss key. You got the boss key. Zelda bosses and mini bosses and everybody um, are always con kind of considered weak. The game is more puzzly than it is um, a fighting game or anything like that. So even if you're like, as long as you're good at puzzles and stuff, you can find out what's wrong with the boss and what to easily kill him with. I know, Tile. I see it. So. If you shoot your bow through fire, the fire catches onto it and hits into stuff like that, which is extremely unrealistic, but I love it. So this huge flower spinning around in circles like a merry-go-round. I'm going to go ahead and hop on it over here. Yeah, I don't need to be him. Ooh, that's right. Just like sitting right there. Eight stray fairies. I'm gonna go ahead and push this button. Yay, a treasure chest. 
So I'm finding most of the treasure chests and things. Doing pretty good, I think. Diving into this. Well, apparently this is like one of the only waters that I've seen that isn't completely poisonous, so it's pretty nice. Ah, dang it. So, um, this is one of my least, still my least favorite parts of the game because you have to be a deck the whole time, but even without that, the dungeon, it's, it's okay. It's, I mean, I don't know why that, it, it's one of the ones that I don't see ever actually being a palace. They, like, as they call it, the Deku Palace. Like, I just don't see it as being that. Alright, I got all of them in here. All of them in here. I'm gonna go with this way. Night of the first day. And I remember the first time I did this, I had to... I got all the way to, like, almost the dungeon boss, and then the time ran out in the whole three days, and I had to restart everything. It was so bad. And I don't think I had the Song of Soaring. I think I, like, either missed it or didn't understand what it was at the time. But, either way, I, I could not just fly right here. I had to redo everything to get here. And I didn't know how to slow down time because I didn't hear, talk to the Scarecrow. And so it made it a little bit more difficult. All right, where is that? There it is. Now, a lot of times you'll have rotating things. You gotta wait for the timing and everything so that you can set the fire over there. And it opens up my door for me. I believe it's this door out there. And now we're into a little bit more something that looks like a dungeon room. Or a, like this looks more like a palace worshiping chamber type thing. You got fire, you've got platforms, you've got spiders, I guess. There's the boss door. Let's go ahead and see what that does. I'm gonna guess it turns off the fire. Okay, so we need to use that to turn off the fire. Let's go over here and get this. Hope this isn't just a returning... A returning flower. Some things are made just so that you can have an easier time returning. Yeah, it actually looks like it is. If you do fall. So, let's go over here. Go to the left side. I see a little fairy over there. Ten fairies. I only got five left. So there's one in that one room. And other than that, that means I have four left. Hopefully they're in the next two rooms. I think I only have four rooms missing. Or two rooms missing. This one and the next one. This room and then the boss chamber. Looks like it. So yeah, hopefully I can find them all in here. If not, I'm going to have to do some rampaging. I see three or two in sight. So I think that's all of them. Stray Fairy, 11. So that's 11, 12, 13. So we are almost there. Is there no further up? Nope. All right, let's go to the other side. Yeah, and just going up and down Deku Flowers, there's mini games and stuff like that. You can play with them, and it's just, I don't know, it's not very fun. It's not as great as the Goron games that we get later on. I don't mean to, I don't mean to post spoilers like that, but we will be playing as a Goron later on, and it's going to be awesome. At least I'm a Deku. Makes things a lot easier. 
I, I should stay as a Deku just in case he knocks me off again. Alright, now let's shoot this. Whoa, it like pinned him against the wall over there. Okay, fire pushes you back, so I should be able to get back here. Yep. Okay. Is that thing over there? Ah, I can't see it from here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move over here to actually get a good sight at the fire, or at the thing, so I can shut the fire off and get that fairy. And I might have to do that twice so that I can get the fairy and then I can get the the flower. Oh, that's a long shot for me. I've already proven that my shot is not great. Alright, let's do this. Alrighty, I got the shot. Alright, let's see if I can make it. Okay, now... Right over here. Sweet, I don't have to go all the way around. I can just go over here first, and then... There... stand a lot closer to get a good shot at that the thing doesn't stay so most of these things have a timer you shoot them and the time goes off later on see and then all right let's see go all the way up all the way back down all the way down all the way back up Alright. Yeah, sometimes when your button pressing is a little off, you just have to slide it up, slide it down. That's only for if you're playing it on like a computer like I am. I'm guessing that people that play it on um, the original N64 aren't going to have that issue. Crap. Apparently, I need to get closer. I guess I have to use the flower inside the other thing. So... Um, I guess I could talk a little bit about myself, since I, I mean, I'm just kind of doing puzzles here, so, um, the reason that I am called Naptime Gaming, which I will probably be posting a video soon on my channel, actually showing all of why I call it Naptime Gaming and everything, is, um, because I am watching two children, and it is their nap time, which means that it is time for me to play. So, whenever I send them to bed, I, ah, whenever I send them to bed, I have started, because I realized that I could get them to take a nap at about the same time, I switched it over to where I can easily um, play video games, and I've been wanting to play video games and start up a YouTube channel for a long time, and since I've been seeing so many Let's Plays around, I figured why not just start up a Let's Play YouTube channel so I can actually play video games. And, um, yeah. So, that's about it, really. Alright, let's go ahead and take out these fireflies while we're at it. Alrighty. I'm 
might actually have to go all the way to the other side to do this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Actually, it might make this a whole lot easier. Okay, apparently not what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. So, I'm having trouble getting over there. <laughs> Generally don't have issues in video games like this, so... I apologize. In advance for however long this takes me. Okay, so this way. Two, one. All right. Gonna have to shoot this again. Sorry, I gotta keep a little note here to keep talking. I'm not used to not used to playing a game like this where I'm supposed to talk and talk and talk. Alright, I only got one chance. Ah. Alrighty. And Lynx does his backflips to get around this way. It's so strange that in between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, the one thing they decided to add was Link doing backflips whenever he's do just jumping from one platform to another. I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome, so I can't really get mad about it. I don't think anybody's getting mad about it, actually. Right, let's see if I can just make it over to the middle platform from here. Yeah, I think I can. I think that was just a ginormous waste of time trying to make it to the top. I don't know what was wrong with me. Oh, crap. And of course, I jump off the edge. Sometimes whenever you're standing over a Deku flower, you're just trying to... You're just trying to get into it and it, you spin off the side of the cliff as opposed to just jumping into it. I don't know if they'll fix it for the 3DS version, which, I, yes, I know the 3DS version is coming out and I'm playing the original. I'm hoping that some people will want to see the original because they're playing the 3DS version and, like, see the differences, but who knows. If not, at least I'm having fun playing the game, so this is awesome. Going back through games you played as a child, um, if you guys have any if anybody's watching this. <laughs> if y'all have any games you want me to play or anything like that, um, post them on here. I will be switching back and forth from playing an older game to playing a newer game, to playing an older game, newer game like that. Just because I want to play older and newer games. And I don't want to be stuck with one or the other. Do I already have all the fairies in here? I do. Heart piece. These. Now, um, I have five minutes, yeah, five minutes left to beat the boss, that should be plenty of time. I'm going to go around the sides here and pick up some arrows, since I'm sure I'm going to need some to fight him. Hope I don't take out too many heart pieces while doing that. So this guy's pretty sweet. He's like just a huge like Aztec warrior. Masked jungle warrior Odalwa. So if you ask Tattle, I'm pretty sure she doesn't give you a very good 
If you get close to him, you'll be beaten. Do you understand me? Apparently, Tidal does not understand how I roll. Alright, so he only takes a piece of heart. Dang him. Alright. I take quite a bit. Alright, now he's doing a crazy Aztec warrior dance. It sounds like a rain dance or something, but he's actually summoning like crickets? <laughs> Ah, I gotta keep my Z target on. Whoa, they drop a lot of hearts in this game. Dang, friggin' moths. They will be the bane of my existence. Alright, he seems pretty easy. I'm not having any trouble just kicking his butt. I know I'm getting hit by these moths. Now what does Tattle say? The bugs seem to gather around fire. I don't see any fire. Alrighty. Ah! Something just dropped on the ceiling on me. Alright. For some reason I'm supposed to go in here. We'll see what happens. Ow! I didn't think anything could kill me while I'm in there. Man, did he follow me up there? He's dead. I almost died there. I mean, I still have a fairy in reserve. I know I should have been talking while I'm fighting. I was very concentrating on not dying. So, kicked his butt. Only took one try. Only had a half a heart piece left. Mm, I'm thinking about stocking up on bombs, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab this first. Heart container. Now I have five heart containers. Only like a fourth of the way there. I'm going to grab this. The Odalwa's Remains. So, you have freed the innocent spirit this dark mask, dark mask had kept in prison within the body of the evil Odalwa. So, um, I'll look at the main menu screen and show you how much we have left of the game as far as the quest goes. The, the game itself, just the whole way that everything works doesn't really... There's not that much of a storyline, so whenever it's going to stuff like this, it's showing you just a little piece by piece of the storyline since it's such a small storyline. What's that? It seems to be like some sort of a tornado fog or something. You can see it like a face, nose, mustache, crazy old man staring over there with some chicken legs. playing some music. Wait, listen, it seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there, get your instrument. Alright. Could this be the song? Right, down A, down, right, up. Man, it's going slow. I always wondered why it shows you how slow, like, shows you it slowly twice. And then, like, actually gives you the buttons to press while you're playing it the next time. 
Now, I do not remember having this um, oath to order. This song um, coming up at the end of this dungeon. I think we're hitting the very end of things that I remember. Speaking of which, we're hitting the very end of this video here too. I need to wrap things up. So, looks like there's three more pillars. Chicken legs. You learn oath to order. He wails. Man, it's just a long, long cutscene. Call us. That's what it keeps saying. Alrighty. So now the poisonous swamp is going to turn into a luscious garden of water and awesomeness. I don't know why, how that dude was poisoning everything, but that's pretty much how they always work whenever it gets to these. They always have like just a tiny little, like one bad dude in there that's turning everything to poison somehow. Four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside the mask? Oh hey, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? <laughs> Link's tackled the ten dungeons of Ocarina of Time. Now they're now just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey. Um All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I apologize. I thought she already apologized. Sorry. I guess the last time she apologized. There, I apologize. Don't hold it against me. Got it? She apologized last time just so I'd help her. Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next stop is in the mountain. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. What is that? Hey, it's the princess. Oh, I should have paused it there and finished this video up. Hey, who are you? Oto-san, pleased to meet you. I'm the Decorous Princess. Were you by chance asked that, that monkey to come save me? Creepy, creepy wooden princess thing. Ah, just as I suspected, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So the monkey made it back after all. That's good. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that the monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yeah, another hate to see decision. She's freaking out. Is she gonna give me something? I don't have any time to lose. Quickly. Please find something to carry me in, so can you take me to the Deku Palace? <laughs> Alright. So I only know one thing that I can carry her in. Um so next time we'll finish up the whole quest. Um there's a couple of things I want to do before I reset time, but um we'll this time we just finished that beat the boss battle, got another heart container, all sorts of great stuff, so until next time, uh, please just uh, subscribe, check out my channel for more videos, uh, I should be posting one every single day, and I will see you guys next time.